Hi. Today I am going to tell you about an all-in-one indicator that I am currently working on. I am planning to integrate all the basic technical analysis indicators into one single Pine script code. Let's see how it looks. This is the all-in-one indicator. In the input panel, you get a select indicator option. There are various options like moving average, super trend, RSI, MACD, parabolic SAR, etc. The moving average is selected by default. Once an indicator is selected from this list, we have to see its inputs. Let's say we select the moving average indicator. Then we have to scroll down to where the moving average inputs are written. Here you can further select various moving average types like simple moving average, exponential moving average, etc. You can also select the length and source of the moving average. Also, you can select multi time frame moving averages too. Right now we are on the daily time frame, and I have selected the weekly moving average. A user can either select a current or higher time frame. If a user selects a lower time frame, the indicator shows an error like this. Let's select another indicator now, for example, Super Trend. As you can see, the super trend has now been plotted on the chart. Let's see its inputs. Here you can see the super trend inputs. But what if we select an indicator like an RSI? As you know, the indicators like RSI are always plotted in a separate panel below the price chart. So if we select the RSI indicator from here, we see the RSI like this. This is not right. Let's move this indicator to a separate panel. To do that, click this more option. Select the move to option. And select the new pane below option. As you can see, now our all-in-one indicator has moved to a separate panel below the price chart, and now we can see our SI as expected. These are the RSI inputs. Let's see the MACD indicator. Now, what if? Again a user has to choose an indicator that overlays on the price chart in the main panel? Like a VWAP indicator? Right now, the VWAP indicator is placed in a separate pane below the price chart. Let's move this indicator to the main panel. To do that, click this more option. Click the move to option. And select the existing pane above option. Now the VWAP indicator is overlaid on the price chart in the main panel. As expected. Right now, I have added up to 18 indicators in the code, I am planning to add many more. What else should I add to this all-in-one indicator? Do let me know in the comments section. If you want to try this indicator, contact me at the details written in the description below. Thank you.